Hey guys, it's Rekka Versat, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a dedicated swatch video for the Uh -huh Honey palette. This is by ColourPop. This is their latest palette that they have released. I've already taken it out of its sleeve because I've already done at least one makeup look for it and a haul. So if you actually want to see the outer packaging or how it was packaged, I will leave those videos linked up in the cards as well as listed down below so you can see how this arrived. And trust me, it was bubble wrapped like crazy. I'm just going to be swatching this palette today. Um, I do have two brushes out to do some swatches with those as well. And I will be using my Always Off Makeup Cloth in order to get swatches off my fingers. The reason why I'm doing this now is because I have um, a bunch of yellow eyeshadows, two actually just arrived yesterday, um, in an order that I placed specifically for the yellow shadows. So I will be doing a yellow, pa a yellow shadow swatch comparison video with this palette versus every other palette that I own that has yellows as well as any singles that I have to um, go over and like compare and contrast any and all yellow shades in my collection because there are some pretty bad yellow shades so that's what this video is just a, a swatch video of the ColourPop uh -huh Honey palette I'm gonna go ahead and get started with Stinger, Sunbeam, and Sweet Spot There's Stinger, Sunburst, and Sweet Spot. And I don't know why it's showing a shadow on my arm. That's a little unusual. And since I have these out, I'm going to grab my BH the little blending brush and I'm going to grab the Stinger shade. I also did an eye swatch for this one, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on like I would a crease color or a crease shade and blend it out in that way so you guys can see how evenly this goes on. And then I'm going to grab a flat synthetic brush and go into Sunburst. And this brush is dry. I'm going to do the top half with it dry and then I'll get it I'll get another brush just like it wet and do the bottom half again with the shadows all right let me figure this out because for whatever reason I'm getting a shadow on the shadows which is not cool all right I went ahead and grabbed another this is actually a fluffier synthetic brush and I went ahead and got it wet so I'm gonna go back into the sunburst shade and I'm gonna put this down here so that you guys can see and I'll take pictures in a little video clip outside here in just a minute just how pigmented the shadow is and the difference between a flat synthetic brush that's not wet versus a flat synthetic brush that's wet see how metallic that looks now versus the finger swatch which is right next to it yes it goes on beautifully with a finger but with a wet brush this is definitely a, a killer shade all right and there is some kickback in the pan from when I used a brush on that stinger shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Dandy, Palooza, and Queen Bee. Queen Bee just moved, that's unusual. So we have Dandy, oh that's pretty. Palooza, it's a glitter shade, so I didn't expect it to do much with blending out. And there's like one fleck of glitter on my finger. I got it off. And then we have Queen B. This is like a light orange sunshine yellow shimmer shade. And this one's more of an orange shimmer shade. And then the last three shades are matte shades. We have Totally Buggin', Oh Behave. I still can't get Nanny McPhee out of my head. And then we have Buzzkill. So totally bugging, which it's funny in the pan. If you look at it, I'll, I'll build it up again. It looks more like brown, but when it goes on the skin, it goes on a little bit more orange. Then we have O oh, behave, and then we have buzzkill. And I know I have shadows that are really similar to this one here, and I'm picking up a little bit more because some crumbled on the counter. So. Get 
Mary Brown stuff on the counter, you. All right, so there is the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Stinger again on my finger and build that up just a little bit because I, and I'll grab Sweet Spot as well because I did build up the other mats and I don't want them feeling left out. So here we have Stinger and Sweet Spot. And there it is completely swatched out. Now, let me know if you guys got this palette or if you're interested in this palette because I am curious to see who got what. And since I'm here, I'm gonna flip the brush over uh, that's wet and I'm gonna grab Palooza. And it doesn't pick up a whole lot. And I'm gonna see, I'll do it down here. Um, yeah, I think applying this shade with your finger is probably going to be best because it doesn't want to really pick up with the brush and then it just kind of sticks wherever you immediately put it. It doesn't want to move. And uh, this is one of the shade that they're saying that cannot be used in the immediate eye area or should not be used in the immediate eye area. Just for the simple fact that it is a, a glitter particle shade. And I want to show you a trick that I've, I've been doing um, with a couple of products. I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush off. And since Queen Bee will be easier to see, I'm going to pick up Queen Bee. Now this is a shimmer shade on a fluffy brush. You can take a shimmer shade on a fluffy brush and you can use the shimmer shade anywhere that you want on your, your eye area. It doesn't have to be a matte shade in a crease. Uh, I picked up some glitter. <sighs> go, go away. Get, 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 go away. But you can take these shimmer shades I have found and they blend out beautifully. The pigmentation, other than where I touched it to get the glitter off, um, is nice and even. Uh, it's very evenly distributed. It blends just like a matte shadow, but you have this metallic sheen to it as well. So compared to the finger swatch of it, it's a little bit more subdued, but these are beautiful when they are used with a fluffy brush. So the old adage that you have to use like a wet, brush or um, a flat synthetic brush or your finger in order to get the nice payout from shimmer shades for this palette that doesn't that, that's certainly not the case so i figured i would share that since that was something that i had discovered with playing with this palette and hopefully this is helpful to somebody else that's looking to get this palette um, the only shadow or the only color in here that i know that i wouldn't uh, use any brush with is the Palooza shade, which is the center glitter shade. And that's just because of what kind of product it is. It is a glitter shadow. And from what I understand, these are magnetic. So you can pop these out and easily put them in a magnetic palette if you don't want the hard plastic. Um, I don't go anywhere with my makeup, so it's not like I need travel friendly packaging or anything like that. And it doesn't bother me that it's plastic versus um, cardboard. I know that was something that a lot of people had brought up as well. So this is the swatch video for the ColourPop uh -huh Honey Palette. Um, it is a beautiful palette. It is, um, for a yellow palette, it's actually pretty wearable because you have some of these more neutralish shades. This is more like a gold. This one here is like a yellow with a green undertone and these will definitely show up different in natural sunlight. So I will be inserting that clip now. All right, here we are outside in the shade with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop. Oh, I am blurry. Here we go. And now I'm going to move over into some various lighting, be it filtered sunlight, or this direct sunlight over here that's like really bright. Ooh, buddy, is that bright? And I'll be doing pictures out here as well. So hopefully you guys will like me doing this in direct lighting like this. So you can see what the shades look like in various lighting. All right, this is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop. We have the first shade and the second shade. The second shade is a finger swatch. And then the top shade is a dry flat synthetic. And then the bottom swatch is a wet flat synthetic. And then we have the next couple shades. And look at the green shift. Holy crap. I didn't even see the green in the other lighting that I, you know, when I took, took the initial video. Look, it almost looks orange there. See, this is why I like doing video with my phone with the flash on. And then I tried getting it to work with an actual brush instead of a finger, and that, that didn't work out too good. And then this 
is actually a, a fluffy brush blended out this shade. And of course there's glitter stuck to it because of course I, did, I was a dummy and did the glitter next to it first and then did this one. But I wanted to show a close up of how richly pigmented this shadow is and that you can blend it out like a, a matte that you would and it's not as metallic as it is here but it's still beautiful so you could easily fluff this through your crease and it blends out beautifully and there's no patchiness other than one spot where I was trying to get glitter off and you'll see that well you've probably already seen it in the video by now but I figured I would record this with my phone and then I've got video I recorded outside as well as a couple of outside pictures so hopefully you guys enjoy this is a gorgeous palette Remember? I did two two eye swatches so far with it and then I've done at least two looks but I didn't record the second look because I was just kind of in a hurry but this is the new color pop uh -huh, honey palette I hope you guys like the fact that I am continuing to do individual swatch videos for palettes. I know I have requests to do them. That's why I continue to do them. So if you do like them, please let me know down in the comment section below, as well as toss a like on this video. Engagement really does help my channel grow. It helps other people see it. And I want to say a huge thank you to my friend Ken for being my first patron for this channel on Patreon. Um, he just wanted a way that he could help me out. Um, he does occasionally put my videos on on random and you know let them play in the background while he's sleeping or whatever um, with the volume off to help um, with watch time and, and views and that kind of thing so um, he does try and help me out every way that he can he is on a fixed income as a uh, retired military vet uh, you know they they only earn so much especially with the fact that he is disabled now because of um, his military service so I want to just say a huge thank you to Ken for everything that he's done and for his visit um, this past weekend where he helped me literally spend hours set, setting up or I should say redoing my Patreon page so that it was more cohesive and um, read better and just just everything that he helped me with I really do appreciate it and he's been a friend for well over a decade so it's nice to have somebody that I know that I can call and, and talk to at two o'clock in the morning if I need help with something or I need to bounce an idea off of somebody he is somebody that I can call do I normally no but, but that's just the kind of person that I am So hopefully this video is helpful. If you guys like it, toss a like and leave me a comment and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Look out for me to do a comparison yellow, all yellow shadow swatching video. Um, I will be doing probably the ColourPop shadows on like the top of my arm and then the other yellow shades on the bottom so that they're all in one spot. I would record it today, but I've kind of already taken up too much room. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.